All right, the Dell Valley Cardinals opened up, you know, district play with a win last week over Aikens. You guys got Anderson on Thursday. You know, what, what were some of your guys' goals coming into this season as far as the district was concerned? Uh, we were coming in, you know, coming like no mistakes and coming real disciplined, you know, taking one game at a time. That's what we got to do on the field. And that's pretty much it. All right, you guys made the playoffs last season. Um, you know, what did you guys learn from that experience that you guys have applied to this year? Um, that that experience was uh, the old Del Valley. That's what we like to say, the old Del Valley. And we came in the off season. We worked and worked. And, uh, uh, one of our coaches uh, came up with the, the new Del Valley Cardinals because you know we uh, the old Del Valley Cardinals made mistakes and things like that. And the new Del, Del Valley Cardinals. We try to eliminate those things. Now with a district that has Lake Travis, Westlake, Bowie, you know, those are, you know, everyone knows those names. Um, you guys are kind of flying a little bit under the radar. Do you guys like being, you know, kind of being able to sneak up on people and having people overestimate you or under, underestimate you? When they, when a team, like, with a, with a huge name, like, they, they, they're, uh, like, higher on the pedestal and things like that. But then there's, there's always somebody that's hungry. Yeah, we hungry. <laughs> All right, uh, what's your what is your favorite thing about about this team? What do you what do you like? What has this team shown you this season? Uh, you know, I've, I've been on varsity for like three years, and we never had that the, the, the brotherhood like this team had. Like we we eat together, you know, we just chill together, we go swimming and things like that, and we just we just came really as a family. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone knows Del Valley for what you guys do in basketball, but um, you know, do you think this is turning into a little bit of a football school? You know, people in the hallways excited about the football team these days. You know, there, there's always a couple of you know people that just they're, they're just stuck in the past, but we're we're staying moving forward with the football program. And in the next couple of years, it will be good. All right, you know, what do you think? Um, what do you think the ceiling is for this team? How, you know, how how well do you think um, you guys can do this season? We we can uh, we can do it as good as our mistakes allow us to do. Cause when we eliminate those and you know just push forward and we don't have to go back two steps every game and things like that, and we just move forward, we'll we'll go pretty far. All right, you know you guys got Anderson, you know Anderson Thursday night. What do you guys have to do to you know, get a victory against the Trojans? You just gotta come out and play hard, and you know, as I said, limit the mistakes and play. Play decent. We'll play, play good. Play good because we haven't beat the Anderson Trojans yet. So we're gonna have to come out and, you know, they, you know, teams underestimate us and things like that. We, since we haven't beat them, you know, we just have to come out and play. All right, Coach Wash. He's been here for a couple of years. You know, what's your, what's the funniest thing he's he said to you while you've been while you've been on this football team? The funniest thing, is, uh, he uh, he doesn't pronounce his uh. His CKs and his words. So every time he say back, he says bag, and it's just it's the funniest thing you ever heard. <laughs>